Welcome to my kitchen edition of the Sheds LED 3-in-1 160 watt moving head beam spotlight. This thing is killer. We got it sent out, the good people at Sheds. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown of what it can do, the functions that it has, kind of the things that it's capable of. I only have one, so I can't really create a light show at all, but I'm just gonna show you behind the scenes how it works, how you can set it up, and with sound switch, how you can very easily set the options on this light, change it up, make some light shows, and real quick too, because it was already built in. All the settings are already there in sound switch, so it's super Super easy, super quick, let's go. So I guess you guys are just gonna work over my shoulder today. So we first, we open sound switch. We've already set something up, so we know that it's working, ready to go. I do have a screen record on, so I will show you guys this on the screen record as we go through it as well. So first things first, you're just gonna open your edit window. Next up, you're gonna go to your DMX settings. So now I have mine set to 84 to 101. So this is an 18 channel light. That means that you're gonna have 18 channels that you gotta select on here. Essentially, all you're doing is daisy chaining everything, so you can literally just go like one to 12, is my first kind of lights. My next lights are 13 to 26. My next lights are 27 to 49. You can set this up any way really, any way that you like it to look. It doesn't matter. Like this is all free range, not important, very simple to set up. Next thing you're gonna do, you're just gonna come down here, search manufacturers, you put in sheds. It's already gonna populate here and then you just find your light that you choose. So whichever light you have, sound switch is amazing. I'm a big fan. I'm not paid to say that at all. I love this software. I never knew how to do anything with DMX. Sound switch made it so simple. So you'll just pick your light, you'll drop it in here and you're good to go. We don't need that one. So I'm gonna delete that delete fixture. So now that you have it set up, you're good to go. As I talked about earlier, I use these wireless dongles from Donner. I like to use as little cable as possible. So get yourself a pair of these Donner wireless dongles. They're killer. One thing that I did notice though, this needs power and they use PowerCon to use these lights. With my Chauvet, they're just the normal powers. They're just these normal power bars, right? So they'll go into anything. I, I will plug it directly into the light. With this one, you can't do that. So this is something that I do have to think about before any gig because I got to make sure that there's power. I probably just got to run an extension cord, not a deal breaker, not an issue. Just a little upsetting because most lights have an, a power out where you can just plug right in and you're good to go. So for me, I'm just running one power cable to this light. Now I'm going to have to run two cables, not a deal breaker. Plus, I think that this is gonna be something that I use like behind me. I already have my, my moving heads that are in my front. I got everything in the front set up. This can be like a wash for the ceiling or something where I can just leave it on the floor. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do f with it, but once you guys see the settings, you're gonna understand what I can do. And then next up, once you already have it set, you're, you're good to go. So the way that I like to play around in sound switch to set things up is I'll go into MIDI, I'll go to static looks over here, and then I'll just pick one of these to edit. Because once you have static looks, this is something that you can set up all the time. Normally I have this all white spotlight set up and all of my things will be white. The, the up lights are all white. My moving heads are white. Everything is white because it's a wedding. Most people want it to be white. So my normal setting is just everything's white and we're good to go. But I was already playing around with this light and I set up a couple scenes. So hopefully you guys can see this. This light is crazy. It's absolutely, this is the first sunny day we've had in Canada, probably all winter. Really bright out, everything's good and it's still very bright looks good. I'm such a fan of this light. So essentially you'll just go into here. You'll go in here. You're going to pick your light. So this is the shed light right here. The only one that's pink. As I said, everything's going to be white normally. And here you can just play around. This is where you get to mess around with the lights, find out the settings. A good thing that you're going to want to set up is your position cues. This is something really important. This is what's going to allow you to move it around, which to set your position cues, you would come out here. You just go to your positions and then here you would just get to, you get to mess around with it, choose where you want it to look. Woo! Even super bright, you can see my whole kitchen is still lit up and it's a sunny day in the middle of the day. I wanted to literally wait until it was a nice sunny bright day so you can see how bright these lights are. It's kind of crazy, um, I'm, I'm a fan.
And then back to editing, you're gonna pick your light here. And then this is where you can kind of mess around. So first things first, you got your gobos. This has a bunch of different gobos. Let's take a look at what they look like. It was cycling through them as you saw. So you could do it to that. You can have it just sit here, static, very basic look. Right now it has a prism on it, which made it like shoot out different ways. Now I've taken the prism off. Once you have prism, you could, you could add a little rotation on it if you wanted. Zoom is something, if you have it looking very blurry, zoom is where you're gonna fix that up, right? So this is something that took me a little, it took me a while to really understand DMX, how lighting works. But once you've understood the very basics, you're gonna know how to set up any kind of light anywhere. It's very easy. Turn the light on, realize you might not be seeing me very clearly. But with DMX lighting, it's very simple. All of the functions are kind of the same. All of your lights are gonna follow this very same pattern. The idea from there is just creating light shows, creating settings that you think it looks really good in. And it's really just moving around, finding different functions, different things that you can create. Like, come on, I'm just building this at the drop of a hat. If you had something like this spread over the walls and stuff moving around, you can create really awesome looking shows. And it's very simple with SoundSwitch. Don't ask me about any other programs because I don't know them. I'm very basic when it comes to lighting, but SoundSwitch made it really simple to make nice shows. And I haven't spent that much time. If I spent more time, I could probably really make it look a lot nicer, but I've literally set it one time and never went back to it. Now that I have another light, maybe I'll set up a new show, kind of build out some more things, but I kind of build it out as I need them and it works out very well. Now, if you just want it to go real crazy, this is kind of just demo mode showing what it's capable of. So you can always have it shooting around. Right now it's strobing. I don't know what you guys can see. Something that I've seen from it that looks really cool is when it, uh, it, it moves and changes from like the wash into the spotlight and then changes into a different kind of light. It's got some really cool features. All you wanna do is spend some time with it, figure out the best settings that you like and then make a few shows. So simple, big fan of this light. Thank you, Sheds. If you're looking for some lights, I give this thing a, a, a recommendation. I wasn't too sure, but I'm a, I'm a fan. I like this light, it's not bad.